behind Not a yes sir, not a follow up Fit the box, fit the mold, have a seat in the foyer Take a number, I was lightning before the thunder Thunder, 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 thunder Give me a hammer
Let me show you how I use my dermistid beetle colony to clean the Sanboa skeleton. After the snake passed away from natural causes, the owner gave it to me for preparation. After removing the skin, muscle, and internal organs, I left it out to dry and dehydrate in the exact position I wanted it to be cleaned in so I would not have to rearticulate it afterwards. Then I fed it to my beetles, which cleaned it in about a day and a half over the time lapse. When compared to other snake articulations I've done, this sand boa was much stockier. I find their anatomy very interesting, with their upturned noses and small eyes which have allowed them to adapt to life burrowed in sand. And here is the finished product before I put it in a shadow box. Although some might find it weird to have their pet skeleton on display, I find it much more beautiful than an urn as it really allows us to appreciate their unique anatomy.